hi in this video i am going to explain how to deal with limit comparison test see the sta statement of the test if xn and yn are two positive term series such that limit n tending to infinity nth term of series xn upon nth term of series yn is equal to r then first if r is not equal to 0 that is uh, if limit of this is not equal to 0 and r is finite value then both series xn and yn behaves alike that is both series converge or diverge together which means if one series is convergent then other series must be convergent if one series is divergent which means other series must be divergent see second if r is equal to 0 which means if limit of this is equal to 0 and series yn is convergent then series xn is also convergent this is the statement of limit comparison test but note we are using this test for checking only positive term series in some books it is written that it is useful to check absolute convergence of the series yes this statement is true because in absolute convergence we are taking absolute value of each term of the series and series becomes positive term series therefore this is this test can be used for checking absolute convergence of the series before applying this test we must understand some notes that is to use of this series we must have stock of series that one know to be convergent or divergent because we are comparing two series we must have a stock of series that uh, we know convergent or divergent the p series is often useful for this purpose because it is a uh, very easy to understand convergence and divergence of the p series if it is given uh, if x series xn is given then we have to find the series yn to check the convergence and divergence of the series or vice versa i have one uh, method to choose how to choose a series yn if xn is the given series and it contains powers of n only then we can find series yn if xn is in the form of the fraction then we can write uh, series yn is equal to series n raised to the p upon n raised to the q which is equal to series 1 upon n raised to the q minus p this is a simple calculation as uh, we are using the rule of indices here p is uh, n raised to the p upon n raised to the q is equal to 1 upon n raised to the q minus p this is the rule of indices where p and q are the highest power of indices of n in numerator and denominator of xn series xn respectively to understand this uh, see one example if we have a series uh, series 1 upon square root of n square plus 1 we have to check the convergence of this series please write series xn is equal to summation and is running from 1 to infinity 1 upon square root of n square plus 1 then we can choose a series yn is equal to series 1 by n i have used this formula only see here highest power of n in numerator is 0 because here is only constant term and no n value here therefore highest power of n here is 0 and highest power in denominator of n is equal to 1 because this is the square root of n square therefore highest power is 1 therefore we are choosing series 1 upon 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 upon n then we just apply the limit comparison test that is r is equal to limit n tending to infinity xn upon yn which is equal to limit n tending to infinity series xn upon series yn uh, this is the simple calculations and uh, we get the limiting value 1 which is not equal to 0 and finite therefore by limit comparison test both series uh, both series xn and yn behaves alike that is both series converge or diverge together but we know that series yn is equal to 1 by n this is the p series with p is less than equal to 1 this is the divergent series therefore 
our series xn is also divergent by limit comparison test see second example if we have a series square root of n upon n square plus 1 then we can choose the series yn is equal to highest power of n in numerator upon highest power n raised to the highest power of n numerator upon n raised to the highest power of n denominator here highest power of n numerator is 1 by 2 upon highest power of n denominator is equal to 2 which is equal to 1 upon n raised to the 3 by 2 this is the simple uh, rule of indices that is uh, uh, a raised to the b a raised to the a upon a raised to the b is equal to 1 upon a raised to the a minus b this is a simple rule then apply the limit comparison test then we get r is equal to limit n tending to infinity xn upon yn this is the simple calculations and we get limiting value is equal to 1 this is not equal to 0 and finite value therefore by limit comparison test both series xn and yn behaves alike but our series yn is p series with p is greater than 1 therefore this series is convergent series therefore by limit comparison test series xn is also convergent thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like and share it for more such videos you can subscribe to the youtube channel www.youtube.com slash live mathematica if you have any doubt write in comment box video related to that topic will be uploaded as soon as possible or you can like the facebook page live mathematica post your doubt on page i will try to solve it in couple of days thank you